Hey, this is Lisara with UX in Motion, and I'm gonna show you how to create a UI animation process video in After Effects. Okay, so what is this all about? Well, let's check it out. Let's have a look here. So what, I've, what I'm showing you here are these um, essentially like wireframe renders in After Effects, which is really, really cool. Now, um, you can't natively render out these views in uh, like After Effects. So why would you ever want to do this? Well, I posted on Dribbble a, a while back just one of these just process videos, which are really, really cool. And it kind of demonstrates the behind the scenes and you can actually show like, um, you know, the handles on your layers. It just looks freaking cool to show these sometimes, but there's no way to like do it, right? So how did I do this? And, uh, you know, by the way, I spent a lot of time looking this up and trying to figure it out, like from Google searches and stuff. There's no freaking way. So you're gonna be stoked and I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step. And it's really quick and it's really simple. So I'm using a, uh, a reference here from one of my other tutorial, Project and I'll include that link if you want it. And this this is like a uh, like 3D one, but it doesn't have to be. I just want to show it because you get like more cool stuff, more cool handles, and just like looks like more cool UI uh, like elements. So when you preview it, um, this is what you get. What you get. Oh, and uh, by the way, if you are wanting to learn After Effects because you have a project, uh, click the link below, and I have a free fast start course that you can check out, and it's just free, and I'll give it to you. It's for designers with no experience in like After Effects. So click that, get started, and then you know you can uh, come back and watch this. But in the meantime, check this out. So here's my project, but there's no handles. Well, what you can do is if you hit Command Shift H, it will actually show while your RAM preview is going, and then select all. And the order doesn't really matter. You can just um, select all and it will, nothing will happen, but if you hit Command Shift H, which is view handles or something, it doesn't really matter what it is, but the command is Command Shift H, and you can view your handles. Now what's great about this is you can also go into like a custom view, and it will just preview all your wireframe stuff. So from there, it's really, really simple to capture this. Now remember, you can't render it, so what do you do? Well, you can go into QuickTime, and if you're on Windows, you have to use something else, but you just want to create a screen recording. And I swear that's it. So you, you just go new screen recording. And I'll walk through that again because that was really fast. I've been doing this a bunch. But then you just hit record and then it starts recording. Now, keep in mind, don't let your mouse cursor go over where it's recording. That'll mess it up. When you're done, make sure it loops a couple times. I will say that. Make sure it loops a couple times because you're going to take this and then make some changes in After Effects. So I, I have the clip here. Now I just made that and again, you just go to File, New Screen Recording, and if you hit the Record option here, uh, and you probably want no uh, like audio, but if you want to narrate it or something, you can do that. You, can, you hit the Record option, click to record full screen, or you can just click and drag to select a portion of the screen itself. Um, but now we're gonna take this, we're gonna save it, we're gonna call it like uh, Process. Put that somewhere on the desktop. Now I'm gonna go back to After Effects. I'm gonna stop this and I'm just gonna import this file here. And this is, you don't have to do this, but this is like, if you wanna just clean it up, um, I recommend doing this. So then you can just click and drag that to make a new composition. Now essentially you just wanna loop it and create a very simple loop here. So what I do is I just look for a repeating uh, like element, you know, where there's like a lot of motion, um, you know, so let's just say at the bottom frame here, I'll say that is gonna be bottom frame and then I'll hit and then I'll just trim that so option left bracket will trim your layer and then I'll just go through it until it loops so I'm just going command shift left arrow from the keyboard and I'm gonna hit N or uh, that, that closes the work uh, like area I'm gonna hit option right bracket just to trim this down and then if you want to trim the composition down entirely what you can also do is hit N for end and then if you hit I with the layer selected, it goes to the endpoint. And if you hit B, it closes the work uh, like area. And then if you control click the work area, you can hit tr trim comp. And that'll actually trim your entire composition. And now you can see you have created a process video. I actually have my cursor there. So you wanna make sure you don't do that. That's how you do it. And then you can just render it out just like anything else. You can make a GIF, you can do anything you want. But now you have a video with process handles. It is super freaking rad. So if you like that, uh, 
hit like and subscribe to my channel and I'll be sending you more little tips around this for UI animation with After Effects. And um, also check out my site, uxemotion.net. I've got some more free content and some great courses if you wanna learn how to do this stuff right away. Thanks for watching, see ya, bye.